Welcome to Docs, one of Hinkle's maps for the semi-finals on the other end of the bracket. We have Hansi from Australia playing as China, Sausages playing as Finland from Australia as well. An all-out mate fair. Both of these players are very good at micro, pretty much the best at micro in the game. Hansi has improved a bit with his macro and his knowledge of choosing units. Sausages on the other hand hasn't really played much AS2 recently because he's used to call to arms but uh, the meta in call to arms does help uh, in playing the mod as elite units are quite useful so it should be a good game unorthodox uh, buys versus a bit of a meta from Hansi and super micro from both so I'm guessing we'll see a lot of grenades going on this is sausages choice of map and let's see how Hansi goes he goes to the eastern point and on the western he's sending a few singles, so avoiding the center entirely. Looks like Sausages is going to meet him on the eastern with the majority of his force. He's got a regular squad. China's assault squads are pretty good. They do have the PPDs, so they may be okay in closer range. MG is doing okay from Sausages, so nice split up from Hansi on the left side as well. Kind of flank Sausages, but Sausages quickly plugs in and fills in the gaps to stop the assault. What the? <laughs> There's a, little, there's a flame tank, or not a flame tank, a fuel tank behind there and explode. Lucky he didn't kill too many of Hansi's troops, but it looks like Sausage just won the eastern point. I thought Hansi would have did it, did it okay with lots of troops there, but he uh, definitely got outshot by the regular squad. So center point uh, is going to no one. Hansi looked like he capped that for a moment. And on the western point we have Hansi capping it, sending the... The guys that aren't being efficient to go to the center, that's a good good move. He's seeing Sausages didn't send anyone there, so he can free up these guys now, attack the center, probably flank through this factory. Uh, lots of interesting engagements in this map. We see another assault squad from Hansi and a conscript squad as well. And he may be able to flank do a little encirclement of the center force, but doesn't need to. I think the numbers will just overwhelm Sausages troops here, but wow, what a nice grenade. Look at that, it just takes out three of Sausage's guys. Oh, Handy's guys, and he will be able to cap the center now. Handy also has a few guys in here, so this factory area is very annoying on both ends. We capture it, it's very hard to root out the player which has infested it. And what we have here, we have another regular buy from Sausages. So, looking for a bit more quality instead of uh, quantity. And Handy's the opposite, and he's of course playing as China, which does play on the quantity tactics with the cheaper, I guess, cheaper CP with conscripts and good assault squads. Regular squad now approaching from the right to the center. Hansi hasn't got too much guarding it. Does have a few annoying guys in in little nooks and crannies in the factory. One spotter though does spot the regular squad. And no further buys it. I think the conscript squad uh, must have got taken out because I don't see them. I think they must have been stopped by sausages in this vicinity. No second buys. Looks like both players are maybe waiting for some sort of vehicle. And I think Handy is the first to buy it. He's gone to 2 2 2. Nice. Pretty much quite the standard in the tournament. Going conscripts, assault squads, and straight to the early 2 2 2. Let's try and eliminate the enemy quickly. Wow, Sausage with the DC Panzerfaust nearly takes up the 2 2 2. That would have been devastatingly game changing. It's one of the benefits of Finland. Having the Panzerfaust and on the assault squad or the regular squad leaders. And unfortunately, does miss. But you'll see a lot of DC moments, I think, in this game. This is a direct IP and pretty much the first time Australians will be playing in such good pings in tournaments. We rarely see Australian versus Australian in tournaments as. It's either me or Hansi that joins them, and if we join a 1v1 tournament, it's either one of us plays in it, because we don't want to really both play in it for some reason. Sausages are clearly winning in the kill count, but versus China, that's usually normal, because the cheaper China units... Oh! Panzerfaust from Sausage! This is where the direct control and the, the pretty much the, the pings will shine. Direct IP. Look, they have no lag, and they can easily control a Panzerfaust to take out things such as that 2-2-2. Marksman Jaeger, elite marksman from Sausages coming into the center point and we'll be able to snatch it from Hansi. P MP18 I think it is, yep, MP18. Going to peep out again. One more peep and he's going to get killed I think. There he goes. He has fallen for China. Ooh, sneaky guy from Sausages, Jang Ba. He is going to be a good uh, asset in the future. 
to potentially spot, but uh, it does have a shit grenade. It's not a normal 80 grenade, it's Ergato 2, I don't know how you say it. It's a ceramic grenade, which doesn't really kill medium tanks, so it may not prove worthy, in my opinion, but at least it has some line of sight. Handy, with his standard sandbag tactics, he likes to build sandbags to get new positions on the map. Uh, not using, not always using, using the cover that's provided, giving some extra sort of dimension to his defense and push. Now pushing onto the left, and Hanty's managed to even cap the eastern somehow, just out outmarkering Sausage's uh, 30, 33 to 15, but uh, managing to, to get the majority of flags. Conscripts onto the right eastern point, and another, oh this is the German trait, oh this is Elite Squad, he's gone third tier. He's actually escalated the foreign troops, foreign trained troops, which is interesting. And the Panzer 1, one special point, followed up by... Another conscript squad going to the eastern point. Can the Finnish Finnish MGs hold? Oh, wonder if there's another Panzerfaust lying in wait. Though machine gunners can destroy this at close range. Potentially might happen. It's not to charge too crazily. It's doing okay. Oh, it's actually doing okay. Hey, <laughs> it's gonna knock over the cover. Run over one. Well, well played with this Panzer Panzer one usage. Dual MG 34s. These are Panzer Faust from Sausages. Oh, bounce! Unlucky! Unlucky! Wow, I don't know. I've never seen that happen before, especially in the Panzer 1. And he does clear up the whole the Eastern Point. This is a 3 cap. It's completely, complete domination at the moment. Swedish Volunteer Squad from Sausages in the backfield. And wow, this is Turtle Wife. So quick. Conscript Squad filling in the gaps. Sausages, not much coming out. He's only got a few guys in the center. A decent hold over here. He's gone the... Ah, oh, it's a third tier squad. So he's got the Border Jaegers in this position. So he's gone the fourth tier squad, actually. It's not the third tier. Very expensive bastards. Should be able to outshoot all these guys. Uh, and... Oh, what is going on? This... It's bouncing on the side of that. Uh, come on. It's got a hit. Maybe Panzerfaust is uh, not good enough for this. Oh, wow. That's... Something's wrong with this armor. <laughs> It, it gets destro it gets destroyed by anything. I've seen it get killed by MGs and rifles, but Panzerfaust. I've got to have a look at that. Why? Why is that the case? Maybe it's got spaced armor that can't be destroyed. So this is a bug. Probably a bug, guys. Sorry about that, sausages. But this is a test tournament, so obviously uh, issues may happen. Though not issues like this. This is the first time we've seen such big issues where something's indestruct indestructible. Maybe there's a theory on that. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Grenade takes it out. Maybe it's a type of type of armor which makes Panzerfaust uh, not take it out. I don't know. BT5 on this uh, eastern point. It is um, model in the default. I'm pretty sure I just used the default model, so it can't be can't really be buggy in my opinion. BT5 filling the gaps and sausages need to flag now. 33 to zero. Unfortunate start at the moment. And that Panzer one really. Uh, did very well unexpectedly, a lot better than it should have. Border Jaegers, can they rip them out? They've got the weight of the cap now. And Conscripts uh, just hiding in that position. Ooh. That must be the dynamite. Takes out the dock roof, and now Sausages will be able to start capping it and stop the three cap. 37 to 0, nice lead from Hansi. Swedish Volunteers still quite inactive in the backfield. And look at Hansi. Hold fire, foreign trained troops, but they still have the shit grenades, sorry. <laughs> still got these ceramic grenades, won't do too well. And um, there's four of them, that's a lot of guys. It's, even if he loses a few of them, doesn't matter. Uh, still not capping sausages for some reason. But BT5 cleaned up. And now coming into cap. Backfield, we have some conscripts from Hansi. Border Jaegers pushing in with the BT5. Hansi has a decent foothold. UMGs, I think this is the Mark Lick, yep, this is the Muslim soldiers. They're gonna try hold. Nice DP machine gunner placed in this uh, area. That's actually a good move by by Hansi. Oh no, it's track M3. Oh anti-tank A nearly got killed by that BT5. One more shot puts away the BT5. And a nice move by Hansi. Placing that light AT gun on the roadway. And now storming to the center. It's coming in with uh in a, a regular squad this time, down to the center point. Eastern point is still being captured by sausages. 
Hansi assaulting it once again with another conscript squad. This guy, wow, this guy was slow to shoot, wasn't he? Had an MP40, point blank range, didn't do anything. Never mind, the Lati Solaranta has taken out uh, those guys at the top. Conscripts though, pl plenty of them shooting their Mauser pistols at him. They're relocating his Border Jaegers to shoot down, and that should easily clean up that squad. But here's a half track by from Hansi, the pressure is relentless. Any more Panzerfaust left? Yes, he does have one. Sneaking his guy. What's going to happen here? It's going to be... This is going to be the game changer. Can he get it? Oh, he's got the engine only. Look, flame. It doesn't flame and that's bad luck again for sausages. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to land inside. He's got a free heart track, though. He's got a free heart track if he wants. Oh, no, it's hull destroyed. It's flaming. I didn't see that. Sorry. Oh, he was trying to get the 50 cal out, but he blew up in his face. Sausages is really having a bit of bad luck, in my opinion. And Hansi now can just run straight in there. He doesn't have any guys uh, to cap it. And that Swedish volunteer squad still in the backfield, stuck doing nothing. 54 to 0. And poor Sausages. Just couldn't uh, stop the... Couldn't stop the numbers of China. Uh, he's coming again with the Border Jaeger squad. He kind of flanked Hansi's position and now he's going to try to get into the center. But Hansi's got a full regular squad in position waiting and a few guys on the side of the factories. And quite easily pester, throw grenades over. This is a very hard uh, flag to push uh, for sausages. I'm not sure if he can do so. He's trying to run down that M3. Time is definitely not inside. Decently cooked. We'll take it to 2 1. One more grenade to finish him off. Can he get it? He will. That's an 80 grenade and he does take it out. Boom. There you go. 2-2-2 out from Hansi, struggling to manoeuvre in the factories. Now we'll get out to play and meet the Bordiega squad, which is already getting quite shot up from the regular squad. And now 2-2-2 will come, but here comes a Panzerfaust. I don't know if Hansi has seen this. Oh, it's not ready for it. Ooh, it is now. Oh, easily put away. 2-2-2 is definitely not being effective for Hansi. And... <laughs> oh, wow, it's a good play. It's one thing about this map, it's quite hard to use the vehicles in the in the narrow roadways and there's lots of opportunities to ambush for for the players. Okay, here comes the Assault Jaegers, nice. So, Sussy just has taken back the Eastern Point with the Trench Clearing Squad, two special points. Border Jaegers in this position providing covering fire and here comes the Trench Clearing Squad, down to the center. None of them have flamethrowers though, so it may not be too great. On the other hand, on the Eastern Point, the Border Jaegers still have some decent firepower that can come come and uh, help. It looks like Hans is coming out with his own assault squad and he's charging. Oh, look how accurate the semi KP is in the hands of the Border Jaegers. That was, that was very, very strong. And coming in now, overwhelming the center with assault Jaegers, but here comes United China. That's the four special points from China. A lot of troops. I'm not sure if Sausages can withstand this. It doesn't have too many reinforcements. He's got a few guys. Ooh, one flamethrower there, right over back here. Move his flamethrower back here, that'll be nice. <laughs> Look at that. These water Jaegers haven't seen as... Have, they thought they've seen a lot of infantry in the Winter War, but they haven't seen the United China coming at them. And they're blazing away at these two Border Jaegers. Poor bastards. One guy left the DP machine gunner. He's just gonna get it rooted out, and here comes the charge. Sausage is still no response by. Nothing bought yet. The Tawny squad should be out as well. He hasn't put the Tony's... Oh, Flamethrower, though. This is actually great for that. And, ooh, nice barbecue. Imagine barbecuing these guys as well. This is now now getting exciting. Unfortunately, the Panzer 1 start was a bit unfortunate. But now it seems like it's uh, turning out to be a fantastic game. Oh, he's got... Oh, nice buy. The Flak Track. He's got the Flak Track squad. Uh, 20 millimeter... Fla oh, 80 grenade Ugatau. Oh no, Hansi. Oh no, Saucy Jones! That was a game changer. That was meant to change the game. Um, three points down the drain from sneaky guys in the backfield. Another sneaky guy in the backfield. He won't take the Nimrod out. Maybe he will. If Nimrod doesn't go further, he will. He won't. Because it looks like Saucy just is now aware of this. And we'll stop that from happening. He's got the Nimrod instead. We're going to meet the 2 2, but it's turrets turning the wrong way. And it's hull damage from a 2-2-2. Oh, Sausages wasn't ready. Oh, no. Look at that. He had the 80 grenade. Some guy 
pulled the AT grenade out. I think the dude shot the AT grenade out of his hand and it blew up everyone around it. And that's a complete disaster right now. It oh, such is bad. I've got the main gun on the 2-2 and the 2-2 can't get main gun. Everything is going wrong for sausages, and yep, I think he's just been uh, defeated pretty much. This handy just giving him a nice hand job, hand job of death. Sausage just tried to poke Hansy, and Hansy grabbed it and ripped it off. <laughs> uh, the imagery in that is not uh, not pleasant. Uh, hopefully, you guys didn't image what I didn't picture what I pictured. German trade. Troops escalating once again, 79 to 0. Sausages. Oh, I don't think he can come back with this, especially since he spent all these special points on the expensive stuff and he doesn't have anything left, so. I'm gonna call it. I'm really gonna call it. There's no chance in hell that sausages will come back into this with a trench clearing squad only. And a few of the remaining flak track Panzer Grenadiers will not be able to take this point. So what happened? I guess the Panzer 1 did very well. Um, and Sausages didn't go for the flags, but there's my crash. GG.